today I'm listening to The Gathering for the very first time. Keep watching. Hi everybody, it's Christy Bovey with The Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. If you're feeling like your heart is in lockdown, I really hope that you will get my free resource, Come Alive, Five Ways to Unlock Your Purpose and Take Back Your Life. You can get all the details for this in the description box below. This video was made by enthusiastic voice lovers just like you. So I'm really excited today to listen to a band that Annika von Giersbergen, who I have listened to before on this channel, is a part of. This is something that my Patreon patrons have requested, and I want to meet their request. The Gathering and the song is Travel. Let's dig in. fun to hear Annika fronting this band. Everything else I've heard her do, she's been in kind of a more of an ensemble situation or a duet. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how she handles her own thing that she's doing. I love her voice. We've already established that in previous videos. She has such a pure tone and just really delightful demeanor on stage. She's so fully herself without apology, which I really appreciate. She just seems very, also very generous, you know, as a person. It's funny to, that that's a word that comes up when I'm watching her, but she just gives a lot when she's in her performances. So I can only imagine when she's kind of the front woman that that'll only be more the case. <laughs> to flip her voice around. She has such a fun sensibility about her singing. It's just really cool. Like she's able to get all these different tone qualities, but yet have this one cohesive voice. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it just is very interesting to listen to. It's also a really interesting melody line that she gets to play around with. It's always fun as a vocalist and as a teacher, I look for songs that have variety in their melodic composition because it is so much better for the voice. We're specifically looking as teachers for pieces of music that are going to work out the voice. You want things that have put them through a little bit of vocal gymnastics as it were. And this song is very musical. It's got a lot of interest for the listener but also as a singer I would think it's a lot of fun too because you're kind of changing around, you're flipping around and she has this really cool break in her voice that she uses. It just is a really cool effect. <laughs>
talked to her because I'm remembering what you guys told me that she is the mother of Dutch metal vocals. She really is the one who has been the influence for different singers. Like I'm thinking of Simone from Epica and Floor, of course, from Nightwish. It's just really interesting to see the person who is the influencer actually at work in this video and how she's so in command, in charge, and in the flow of the music and making the magic happen. It just struck me there, so I thought, oh, I need to say something about that. <laughs> line is so exciting so much fun and she's just the master she's so amazing so beautiful I cannot wait to go back and deconstruct this just to listen to that gorgeous flip up that she made it's very sultry and almost jazzy in the way she's approaching it it's really surprising to me and one thing I will say about her she doesn't strike me as this metal vocalist really she just strikes me as an amazing singer. Now, I know that sounds kind of bad because it's like, okay, well, the metal singers aren't great, but there's something about her tone quality. It's not this bombastic, loud, frenzied kind of a sound. She just has this more melodious, connected kind of sound. And I think that's something about metal music that's been surprising to me all along. All of these female vocalists, from Taria to Floor to Simone, all of them are just beautiful singers. Annika in particular just has this extra special quality. I, I can't put my finger on it, but let's keep watching and maybe it'll come to me. <laughs> vibey groove to it. It's very chill, <laughs> but really intense too. And she's in charge, totally in charge. I love how she's feeling the music. So even during the instrumental breaks, she's there, she's in it and very much in control. Really cool. <laughs>
responsibility as a vocalist when you're fronting a band and they have these instrumental breaks like this for you to be creating the right experience, the right mood for the audience and keeping their focus. Obviously, she's being lit on the stage differently than everybody else, and she's doing things that focus the audience's attention back to the musical experience at hand. It can be a little unnerving as a vocalist. I'm somebody who's fronted jazz bands before, and there are lots of opportunities to step aside and allow the soloists to step in, that moment to happen instrumentally, where I'm not really the person pulling focus at that moment. And it's really something that it's a privilege and an honor, and especially when you're working with musicians that you really respect, you want to give them that place to shine where you're not large and in charge and in control of everybody's focus. I feel like she's bringing such a beautifully subtle focus towards her bandmates in this moment. It really is something to note. She can do it all. She has the really beautiful, sultry, slower, lower kinds of spaces in her voice. And now she's got this power voice belt, true chest belt happening in an upper register that is just divine. It's heavenly. Like she has this heavenly connection with her voice where she can really make it go anywhere and take us along with her. It's why music can be so transformational. It's the thing, the it factor, the thing that makes us come back and want to listen again and again. Wow. I can see why you guys wanted me to watch this one for sure. She's just divine. How connected she is with her body. We've talked about this with other singers before too. She's very loose and relaxed and the sound is just coming out. This is what we want as singers. We want to be able to just relax everything. No tension whatsoever. She's so fully in her body. And that is really something unusual. I work with people all the time, whether it be mindset, life coaching kind of stuff, or voice work. I have to ask them, where are you right now? Because you're not here <laughs> inside your body having this present experience. And that's really what you need. You need to be able to connect and be present and just allow what's in you to come out. No matter what it is you're called to do, that is your destiny. That's your birthright. So everybody connect a little bit more, okay, with your heart and be in your body. Don't be afraid of it. It's actually really important. And it's why Annika is doing such an amazing job. The other thing I was just thinking about, Devin Townsend. Is that Devin Townsend on the stage? This is the 25th anniversary concert of this band. So I'm not sure if it would be, but I just saw this bald, tall guy come out and I was thinking, man, this reminds me of Devin's music a little bit. So we'll see if that's him.
Okay, let's deconstruct this one just a little bit more. I think I can safely say that I am totally in love with Annika von Giersbergen's voice. shows so much versatility in this one song. What an incredible vehicle for her to really shine and how much fun must it be to sing the song. love the really cool little flips and turns that she puts in her voice. I love how she uses her vibrato. All the things she's doing to just make it so interesting and also really sell the lyric itself, like in this clip right here. really haunting vocal quality and I want you to notice how she bends her vowels where you really see a vocalist shine. You see how connected their voice is when they're able to move the resonators and to also slide and make their voice do whatever they want it to do. But I really love the tone quality coming up in this next clip, this really deep, low, kind of expansive space. <laughs> This is my favorite part of the song because I love how she's able to go from that low, deep space up into her upper register with a flip. You That's not all she can do, of course. There's a reason why she's an influencer of all these other singers, and I think that's best seen in this section right here. be her when I grow up. Can I just say that? And that only continues as we get into more of the build of the song. I love the section right here.
love her use of straight tone into vibrato. I feel like vibrato gets a bad rap sometimes, especially in pop music or contemporary music, I should say. I feel like Annika's use of vibrato in this song is like a masterclass, really. It adds so much interest to what she's doing and she's doing it in a really controlled way. You can hear her continue to use this straight tone flipping into vibrato, putting a little shimmer at the ends of phrases in this section right here. Devin Townsend, leave me a comment down below. Help continue to educate me about the gathering, about Annika, about this concert. If anybody was actually in the audience at this concert, I'd love to hear from you as well. Just continue to educate both me and the Voice Love Company community. I sure do appreciate it. sure that's him. I don't think it is. You'll have to let me know. But anyway, this has been so glorious. I have so enjoyed getting to hear Annika do her thing without having to share the stage with too many people. She is glorious and the gathering is amazing. Well, that's it for me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know loves Annika von Giersbergen and The Gathering. You can ask me any question about your voice in the comments down below, on my blog at voicelove.co, on Instagram at The Voice Love Company, and now on yzo.com. Get all those details in the description box below. Well, you'll have to tell me in the comments below, what is the first concert you're going to see after all this pandemic lockdown craziness finally comes to an end. I would love to hear from you. I'm already dreaming and thinking about the concerts I want to go to, the gigs I want to start having myself with my little band, and I hope that everything is going so well for you. I hope things are starting to open up where you are. Keep finding your voice. Keep making your sound in the world today. The world is waiting for what you and only you bring. And remember, you are loved. Bye, guys.